The conventional cotton sector in Mali is in crisis. This leads to poverty, since 25% of the population of Mali depends on cotton. Only top quality organic products for global markets can reverse this trend. A great opportunity for new business. Bamako, Mali, the hometown of Yirua. Yirua is a profitable commercial trading house for high quality organic products in Mali. The company bridges two extreme worlds, corporate investors in Western countries and small farmers in Mali. Yirua is run by a Malian manager and a Dutch CEO. The core business of Yirua is combining sustainable production in a commercial, interesting way. We are producing here in Mali organic, organic cotton, organic sesame, soya, and other rotation crops. We help farmers producing this, these kind of crops, but we also, on the other hand, we have to sell it at commercial interesting prices. To combining these two, that is our, our strong point. Okay. okay, hello, Stephen. Yes, how are you doing? Hey, listen, we have some good news, because instead of 200 tons, we can do uh, 250 tons of cotton. Yeah, yeah. Same conditions, yeah. Same price. Yeah, that's perfect, that's perfect. Yeah, I'll send you an email about this. Okay, thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Ah, il a dit, il n'y a pas de problème. Ah, ok, d'accord. Même pour le 250, il a dit que ça, ça peut aller. Ah, ok, nous, ça nous arrange. Nous, ça, c'est bien, c'est formidable. Our journey through rural Mali starts with the search for cotton. Yirua cotton is high quality cotton. Farmers have been producing it for generations. They harvest it traditionally by hand. This way the fibers remain undamaged, which is not the case when it's harvested by machines. Because no pesticides are used, the cotton is clean. The farmer's foreman sees advantages in this production method. Yirua agents regularly drop by the fields to train and advise the farmers and to check the organic production. But they also come to show their support. Private investment in sustainable business development. That's the Yirua business concept. Quality standards are very high within Yirua. Field agents monitor the product quality with an internal control system. Parallel to the private investment, there is a public investment project strengthening the capacity and empowering the farmers of Yirua. The shareholders of Yirua are important players in the market. This enables the company to organize and strengthen the entire market chain for better prices and quality. 
In the future, the farmers will have their own trust fund, making them shareholders of Yiriwa. Yiroa not only produces cotton, but also organic soybeans, peanuts, and sesame. The production method is the same, and these farmers are satisfied as well. In 2008, when Yiriwa started, the total number of farmers involved was 1,700. The next year, 5,000 participating farmers made a living out of organic products. Apart from making a product that sells, Yiriwa contributes to sustainability, public health, and environmental protection. But Kaysian Fontil and Shek Konate always have to check their products. Here they are on their way to visit the sesame storage. Yiroa helps the farmers to certify their production in accordance with Western high quality standards. Working with local people who have the knowledge, coupled with a commercial approach, generates opportunities for entrepreneurs as well as for the African farmers. Trust among all partners is the key to success in the production of cotton, peanuts, sesame, and also here during the harvest of soybeans. The final goal is to work with 36,000 farmers in the year 2014. By then, Made in Mali will be a brand that stands for high quality products and corporate social responsibility. <laughs>